Okay, this is something that's really hard, man. This really, this is really hurtful. But I, but I gotta tell y'all. Oh, oh, Clarence, how can we even talk about dating? How can we have a dating show? When you gonna have a dating show? Nah, bro. <laughs> I let I let the rest of them tell you about that. <laughs> I let the rest of them tell you about dating, right? <laughs> Yeah, you tell us about dating. When you gonna do a dating show? Nah, I ain't gonna do a dating show, man. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what we really need. Oh, did I do it again? Oh, got it. This is not the one I want. This is the one I want. This is the one I want. Let me get the one I want, y'all. See, because when I start talking about black boys, when I start talking about black boys, people start running up out of here. But that's cool. That's no problem. So I'm going to show you something. Okay. This is from a website called The Nation's Report Card. And it is a, 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 a website that uh, keeps track of uh, test scores for uh, certain grade groups. And, uh, and you can break it down by race. You can break it down by state. You can break it down by a lot of different things, right? So I wanted to break it down by fourth grade students, right? Fourth grade boys, right? Okay. You see here, average test score, we talk about mathematics, right? A mathematics algebra scale, right? Whites, they got 200, the average score is 250. Hispanic, the average score is 235. Asian, the average score is 262. Uh, Indian American, Alaska Native, uh, average score 234, uh, 231. And two or more races, average score 247. Who has the lowest math scores? Black, average 228. Now, why am I, why am I pointing this out to you guys? Why am I pointing this out to you guys? Cause, you know what? You could, I, and I'm sorry that I have to bring this up to you. But, who else is going to tell you? These other fools is trying to send you on dates. They making, they letting them, they letting men get to be a bad man and then trying to make high value man out of what's left. And I'm trying to make high value man in the beginning, third grade, third grade. We need to be on these boys of math and science, third grade. Clarence, uh, Clarence, you know, I don't want to talk about that. Hey, can, can you, can't you interview somebody that's going to say something that's going to agree with you? No, no, I'm not. I ain't no hypocrite. I'm not no hypocrite. I'm going to be out here telling you the truth. Black boys are, have, I just showed it to you. As of 2019, these numbers are from 2019. You go look it up yourself. They are, have the lowest scores in mathematics nationwide, black boys. Why is that? There are probably a lot of different reasons, but I know one of the key reasons is black men are not spending enough time pushing mathematics to their sons. But Clarence, I got a child over here. I got a child in Texas. I got a child in Wyoming. I got a child in Arizona. So what? You got to at least pick up the phone. Hey, I sent you this message. Hey, let's go. You got no excuse, man. We we don't have no excuse. But you know what we want to do? We want to go on these platforms that's telling you how to have sex with women. I'm in the manosphere. I'm a high-value man. And your son is not being prepared for the world that's coming at him. That's our fault as black men. That's our fault. We're not preparing these young men for what's in front of them. Well, man, you know, the girls, the women are just bad. The women are bad because they don't have to be good. Most of them. They don't have to be good. There's not a standard in these young men that by the time they get to 18, they already have a mental standard of what they're looking for in, they, in themselves and in, the person, and in the person on the other side. You go out there and you do the dating show. I'm going to start at the root. You start at the branch. 
I'm starting at the root. Black boys need to be pushed. Mathematics, third grade. Third grade. We need to be coming on hard. Third grade. Oh, they're just a boy. They can, they can handle it. You'd be surprised what black boys can handle. You see how much stuff girl, black girls can handle? Black boys need to be pushed science and mathematics third grade. Third grade. They need to be pushed on to them. Clarence, you know what you're talking about. You don't even have a degree. Okay, go get you one of them degree Negroes to prove me wrong. Send one of them degree Negroes over here to prove me wrong. They can't. Look at the numbers. The numbers spell it out. Fourth grade, uh, this, these numbers here, fourth grade. Uh, fourth grade uh, numbers here. These are, these are students in the black, I mean, boys, nationwide, fourth grade mathematics scores. Blacks have the lowest. The lowest. They even have lower than uh, uh, Native Americans, and they own reservations, quote unquote. They supposedly have the worst uh, uh, help from the government, and they do it better than us. No, 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 no. See, everybody's out there trying to have a social life. I got social life. I'm on. I'm on social media. I got social life. Yeah, I know you got a social life. But you got a responsibility to these children. You got a responsibility. I want to hear that, Clarence. I want to hear that. Can't you teach me six different ways to talk about how black women are the scourge of the black community? Can't you teach me how average is that best? I don't want to hear that, Clarence. I don't want to hear about me having to talk about, I don't want to hear about black boys. I know y'all don't. That's why y'all don't want to listen to me, but I'm just telling you the truth. We got a responsibility to these boys. I know you got people out there that said, F the black community. I'm talking about black people. We got black men out there right now saying, F the black community, F them, F the women, F the children, F everybody. Why? Because they secret white supremacists. They secret, they, they, they're pushing the white supremacy program. What's the white supremacy program? For those of them that are in the elitist and supremacist mindset, that is, we need we need a constant string of prisoners. If they care about each other, they're not going to assault each other. If they care about each other, they're not going to arp each other. If they think highly of each other, they're going to try to help each other. We can't have that. We build too many private prisons. Do you know how many private prisons are out there? That That Industry is exploding in America, the private prison industry. Guess who they have projections of going straight in there? Guess who? Third grade. Third grade. Hit these boys and girls, but especially the boys. Third grade. They need to start introducing algebraic type of, once you get them down with math, with, with multiplication, addition, subtraction, and multiplication and division. Once they got that down, you need to start breaking algebra down to them. Introduce the algebra and the sciences and science to them. Third grade. If not, we see what's happening. This is fourth grade numbers based on, and we have the lowest. We got the lowest. We got the lowest comprehension. We got the lowest math scores. These niggas are telling you about how to how to find a girlfriend, and our children are dying in the classroom. They dying in the classroom. F going to get a date. You need to go get a book and sit down with your child, especially your male children. If we fix the male children, that will fix the female children. How, Clarence? Because the male children, the female children will have to step the game up just to be selected. Just to be, just to be able to be enter into the selection process, they're going to have to step their game up. Who? Okay. See, feminism, feminism is not going. Feminism has a whole. It has a leak in the boat. It has a lot of good things that it tried to do for women, but one of the things that it did was it said women don't have to. You know, it showed us women, especially, but. 
ultimately the family structure was unnecessary. It showed women that the family nuclear structure was unnecessary to have children get to 18 and go further. And they write. But the most successful of them is from the nuclear family. That's that's statistically the most successful situation. But guess what? Most of us ain't focusing on these boys. Most of them most of us are not focusing on these young men. And they're going into the wayside. They actually they actually come out here thinking, oh, if I just pay my child support, that's good enough. I see my child one day a week, or one day a year, or one day every six months. That's good enough. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Why? Because I got, man, I got to, I got to get busy, right? I got to, I got to put it down. Because that's what masculinity in the man, that's what masculinity in the black, uh, in the in the in the, in the manosphere has 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 developed evolved to. It devolved to how many women you can sleep with. That's what masculinity in the black community. Masculinity used to mean how many women you could protect, how many women, how many young people you could teach, how many people you could help go into get into the right, go the right way. The black community has t almost totally devolved into a rat's nest. Why? Because of the number one reason nobody wants to, not nobody. Most of these guys don't want to sacrifice when they make these children. What about the women? You ain't, you ain't, you ain't being accountable to the women, class. They're a sidebar conversation. You want to talk to me about women? Okay, let's get done with this manhood conversation first, and then we can talk about them. Don't bring them up while I'm talking about you. <laughs> no, let's, talk, let's finish talking about you first. I showed you the numbers. I don't believe it, Clay. Okay, go on there. Go go to their website yourself. Go to the website yourself and see for yourself. I'm not I'm not playing around. This is some serious stuff. Black boys are the reason why the, the failure of us to teach and and, 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 and and push black boys into math and sciences by the third grade is the reason why the black one of the main reasons why the black community is in shambles. By the time they get to 18, they're so far behind in mathematics and science, they just say, forget it. They jump in the street, and they, they go hustle in the street. Why? Because they're so far behind. They, they By the time they get to 18, they've been screwing around in school so long, trying to get a handle on mathematics and science looks like trying to climb Mount Everest to them. Why should I do that? I can just go around this mountain and go sell uh, something on the street and make some money. Our black boys are dying. And when black boys die, black girls die. Why? Because the selection process gets altered. Now, the best and most fittest don't get selected on either side. The most attractive gets selected. Not the best mate the most attractive person. Those are two different things. Two totally different things. What do I know? i just been married 33 years. What do I know? What do I know? I'm just an old fart, right? Why look at me? I've been living, living and working in the black community all my life. What do I know? What do I know? Clarence, you don't have no degree. I don't. I don't. Been to college, but I don't have a degree. No, I don't. And you don't have, you especially don't have a degree in uh, education. I don't. But I need a degree in education to look at test scores and see who's the who's doing the worst. Do I need a degree for that? I can do enough. I can do uh, multiplication and addition. I can uh, addition and subtraction. I can see. I know which score is the lowest, and it's us. So this is my plea to black men. This is my plea, third grade. Please get in there with your sons. Listen to me. Listen to me. Men, this is for the men out there. If you spend one hour a week, just one, just one hour a week on math and science skills with your son, 
forget that. Let's say one hour a day. One hour a day. That's 350 days. That's 350 hours a year you spend it on your son's future. I can't do that, clear. I got, I got a date. Oh, you got a date, huh? And so you rather spend the time that you can be spending with your son. Just one hour. That's going to stop you from getting online? That's going to stop you from... No, brother. We See, parenthood is a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. We all have to sacrifice. I signed my, I signed my first... I signed my oldest boy up for football. Guess what? They said, we don't have no coach. I said, I'll do it. Okay, go do it. Sign them up for basketball. We don't got no coach. I'll do it. <laughs> so, I mean, you got to do it. Sometimes we got to make sac. We got to sacrifice. And my wife was, you know, the one that brought the, the uh, we call it the drinks and all that. My wife did that too. It is what it is. It's a sacrifice. Y'all don't hear me though. I'm, I'm preaching, right? I'm preaching. Hey, go out to your favorite boss lady and go learn how to get a date. <laughs> That's what you need. That's what's more important. You learning how to date somebody as opposed to getting these children math and science uh, scores up and getting them strong in math and science, getting these black boys math and science skills up. That's what's more important. You going out there and getting a date. Go on out there. Go on out there. But hey, don't say nobody doing nothing because a lot of brothers, a lot of us brothers out here that's doing something, that's trying to do something for this to make this happen, right? Anyway, anyway, let me let me stop. Let me get some of these chats. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sister Eddie, 